What are the parts of the male reproductive system? The male reproductive system is made up of the following. 1. Testes, or testicles. Spermatogenesis, a process that takes place in the testicles, produces sperm, male reproductive cells. 2. Seminiferous tubules. The majority of the tissue in the testes is composed of small tubes called seminiferous tubules. 3. Epididymis. Each testicle has an epididymis on the rear, which is where mature sperm are transferred and stored. 4. Vas deferens. The muscular tube known as the vas deferens travels from the epididymis into the pelvis before turning and entering the seminal vesicle. 5. Seminal vesicle. The majority of the fluid components of semen are produced and stored by the seminal vesicle, a tubular gland. 5. The vesicle narrows to create the seminal duct, a straight duct that connects to the vas deferens. 6. Ejaculatory duct. The seminal vesicle duct and the vas deferens join to form the ejaculatory duct. 6. The prostate gland is entered through the ejaculatory duct, which then joins the urethra. 7. Urethra. The tube known as the urethra passes through the penis to remove semen from the vas deferens and urine from the bladder. Sperm travel from the testicles and epididymis to the vas deferens during ejaculation. The sperm is propelled forward by the vas deferens contracting, tightening. The seminal fluid advances toward the urethra as more secretions from the seminal vesicle are added. The prostate gland, which adds a milky fluid to the sperm to create semen, is where the seminal fluid flows before it reaches the urethra. The semen is finally ejaculated, released, through the urethra from the penis. A sperm count of 15 million or more per milliliter is regarded as normal. Sperm concentrations in men with low sperm counts, oligozoospermia or oligospermia, are fewer than 15 million per milliliter. If you have azoospermia, your ejaculate contains no detectable sperm.